hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and today this is the second episode of the new series called the USA tour where I built one house for each state in the USA and this week we are building in Montana now bear in mind I am picking these at random there's no system I'm just picking the ones that I want to build first uh, so this one is a bungalow style house, meaning it only has one floor. But uh, if you do download it, if you like the style of the house and if you want to extend it, you can very easily extend it. Uh, the roofing is very, very simple. There's nothing too complicated about it. Uh, you can just put a room upstairs and just slap a roof on that and you're fine. Uh, you can also make a basement or there's still some space in the garden as well. So this is a two bedroom house. Uh, both of the bedrooms have a ensuite bathroom and there is a very big guest bathroom as well. Now potentially you could have three bedrooms in this house. Um, the one that I made into the guest bedroom, uh, guest bathroom, uh, it is quite large for a bathroom, but quite small for a bedroom. But it would suit um, a single sim. As I made these rooms in this house quite large, uh, it didn't fit the dimensions of the house. Uh, it would look like a very little corner. Uh, and it wouldn't be fair. So if you do want to make it uh, and if you do need another bedroom, you can turn that into one of the bedrooms and make one of the ensuite bathrooms into a family bathroom. Uh, just change the door location. Uh, pretty easy to do. Now, initially, I started uh, decorating this house in a very, very modern look, a uh, very young looking uh, house. Uh, but I decided against it midway through decorating it, um, which is something that I usually do. I start doing something and then change my mind and I have to delete everything and start all over. But I think that we came out with a better result. So it is still modern looking, it's still a little bit young looking, but you do have more adults more mature more classical references in the house um, so the main color in this house is navy blue um, I thought that this house needed a quite uh, warm inviting look um, throughout the whole house so it's still modern it is not a, a old house but uh, I decided to put something more nice more classical so once you get in the house, you have a huge uh, hall and that will take you to the bedrooms and etc. Then you have the main living quarters or main living area where you have a quite large um, a lounge area which has only a separating wall. So it is open plan, but you still get some privacy. Uh, then you have a kitchen, like a kitchenette and a very large space where you can put a dining table. Now, outdoors, there wasn't a lot of garden uh, space to play with, so I decided to not uh, include any uh, back garden in grass, and I just put in a huge deck. But if you do need some grass in your life, you do have a quite large uh, front garden as well, so you get the best of both worlds so one of the bedrooms is a designated uh, kids bedroom it has two beds in it it, it is a gentle gender neutral bedroom so it's not for boys or girls uh, it is it's gender neutral you know you can put whoever you want in there um, I think that turned out looking quite cute then you have the master bedroom which was a bit of a pain in my butt to find the bed orientation because there's a lot of weird angles in this house. Uh, but I think that in the end, I came up with the, the best way to place the furniture. And in the end, I kind of like the house. It has, from the outside, has a very cute aspect about it, a very family-friendly look. 
and yeah i hope you're gonna like it as well now the biggest challenge in this house um uh, if you have never built in the sims 4 uh when you make diagonal sections of a house roofing gets quite complicated uh, because in order to look like you have one roof you need to like make rooms go together from a horizontal or vertical roof that goes well with a diagonal roof which sometimes it doesn't work whatsoever there's spaces where there's no roof whatsoever and other spaces where roof is poking out of another roof so i had a bit of an issue but that was quickly fixed and i think that in the end we come up with a good result um i did the best i could anyway and there's no visible glitches in the roof which i'm pretty content about so if you are from montana or if you have ever been there you can always leave some fun facts about Montana in the description, uh, in the comments, not in the description, uh, because I have never been to America, much less to Montana, so I know nothing about it. All I know it's it gets very cold, hence why I included a lot of fireplaces and radiators all over the house, uh, just to keep your Sims nice, nice and toasty in the winter. Uh, anyways, if you do want to download this house, there's two ways you can do that. You can either press the link in the description down below. It will take you directly to my origin page where you can add it to your favorites and download it in your game. Otherwise, you can look for me on the gallery using hashtag SimsDesigns or hashtag SimsDesignsYT. And if you did like this video, please give this a big thumbs up and in the comments you can always pitch for your state you can you know uh if i like your comment i can build it your state next uh we'll see about that and uh if you're new here why not subscribe i make videos almost every week Bye.